Good morning and welcome back to another week in my life vlog. My name is Lexi. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe, stay a while. It's a fun time, but it's a work week in my life. We are back home in Southwest Florida. I, if you are new, I am a pediatric dental resident in Naples, Florida, and I'm excited. It's a full week of fun this week. I took the last two weeks off of like vlogging week in my life because I wanted to get settled, start in clinic, like just get used to everything and give myself a break and I had two vlogs from previously ready to go anyways for you guys on Sundays so I took the last two weeks off of vlogging but I'm excited to be back had the two exams from boot camp hopefully they went well we won't find out for a while but so now it's full force in the clinic working seeing patients all of that good stuff so today's agenda I have hospital training in the morning and then clinic in the afternoon jam-packed day of fun, but I'll vlog when I can. I don't think it'll be a lot of vlogging while I'm actually at work, but I want to take you guys through my mornings, evenings, and all of the stuff outside of work because that's the kind of stuff you guys want to see anyways. So come along. I hope you're having a great week when you're watching this and let's start our drive. It is a beautiful morning this morning. I'm going to pop on murder with my husband when I get in the car. It's my fave podcast for Mondays and fill up my water, I think. I'm gonna fill up my bottle of water so I can chug some water on my way and we'll drive to the hospital. Hello vlog. It is five o'clock. I am out of work and I am on my way home. So I just wanted to say hello. Pretty chill day. Hospital training this morning just on the computer system and then clinic in the afternoon couple of no-shows but school just started so that is to be expected with kids back at school um, I don't know what the plan is for tonight I might redo my nails watch some TV make some dinner Sean's working today so it is just me and the pets at home so pretty chill night I don't have to study so we're just gonna hang out and relax maybe I'll read I started I mean I'm like two pages in but I'm reading my summer darlings I think it's called um, but so maybe we'll read on the patio. I don't know. We'll see what we get up to, but it is Monday afternoon, five o'clock driving home. Literally just said all of that. So back home changed into just a t-shirt and shorts. I'm going to make some food. I think I'm going to make these creamy pesto noodles. Yes, Sean's not home, so it's quick and easy. And I'm gonna do my nails. I took off the remnants of gel that were on there. I'm gonna take Lola for a WALK in a little bit once it cools down outside because it's still pretty hot out. I like to go around sunset, it's not as hot. Oh, I took some clips, even though I wasn't like vlogging necessarily, like week in my lifestyle vlog the last two weeks, I did get some like random clips. Like I got my hair done, you can tell it's lighter and shorter. It doesn't look the best right now because I didn't do anything with it today, but I have some clips doing that. I have some ortho clips from our ortho little hands-on lecture. Um, I don't know what else, but I'll put those clips in right now while I make my food. I'll probably throw this in to a vlog at some point because I'm not vlogging right now, but I wanted to vlog specifically this I just said vlog like 15 times. Um, I am going to get my hair done at a new place. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never had my hair done in Florida since I've been here. So let's see what we do. I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do. Uh, I found this salon on Instagram and it looks good, has good reviews. I don't know. I have trust issues with my hair, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I will get a clip when I'm done. So I am back home from the hair salon. I'll show you guys. We just lightened it up a little bit and gave it a nice trim. I really wanted like a blunt cut and I really like it. And then she put some waves in it. So here's the new hair. Pesto noodles are done. Yummy, yummy. I'm sweating because all of a sudden our air conditioning started pumping out hot air instead of cold air. So I'm gonna very quickly eat this and then see if I can mess with it and figure it out because 
it's really hot. I'm gonna probably close the blinds all the way to try and cool it down a little bit without the sun, but I do not know why it is doing that. And I'm just watching Pretty Little Liars. I'm on to season six of the original one, but I'm hungry, then we'll figure this out. I have been watching air conditioning YouTube videos for 30 minutes now at this point. I tried to like clean the filter. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys, but I can't, and the hard part is, is you like can't really tell if it's fixed until like, I don't know. Let me stand on the bed and see if I can feel. So before this was blowing out like hot air. Okay, it's definitely cooling down. It, it's not as hot. I think I might have fixed it. You know, you can do literally anything with Google and YouTube on your side. Like, I, I mean, granted, obviously it was an easy fix, but I don't know what I'm doing, and I just, I think I fixed it. <sighs> My dad's umpiring, Sean's working. We don't need no men, ladies. We can do it on our own. I call my mom and she's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, thanks mom. But no, I just YouTubed it, cleaned out the filter a little bit and I, I think it's working. Oh, uh, maybe not. Cause it doesn't feel that cold coming out. Now it's feel like it's starting to get warm again. <laughs> it's too hot for this. Yeah, it's heating up again. Dang it. Maybe we do need men. And I don't think we have 24 hour maintenance. Like I'm sure we do, but. I'm getting very frustrated. It has been at least another hour since I last talked to you. And it's still blowing out hot air. So I've just turned it off because I'm sweating and I'm sick of it. I call her 24 hour maintenance. Unfortunately, it's like an operator that then has to actually call the maintenance and they can't get a hold of them. So instead, we're gonna open some PR to distract me because I'm cranky. <laughs> um, so Pop Beauty sent this little like goodie bag of products. It's like a zinc vitamin C line. So Fizz Jelly Cleanser, um, Peeling Zinc C Exfoliating Jelly. Supreme Sea Cream and Extra Zinc Shot Vitamin C Serum. And then I Do Care. This brand sent me these adorable pimple, pip, uh, pimple patches. They're like little paw prints, so they're super cute. Yeah, I need to do my nails because they look like this. Yikes. And I need something to distract me. So even though it is so hot in this apartment right now, I need to just do my nails and then hope and pray that the maintenance people answer their phones and come fix this AC because I do not know what is wrong. And I have a feeling I'm not gonna sleep very well tonight if it stays this hot. So I'm hoping when the sun fully goes down, I can at least like open our door, but we don't really have screens. So, and I can already see like a really small lizard on the patio and I'd rather that not get inside my house. Move to Florida, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No, I'm just kidding. I do love it here. It's just like, I'm done complaining. It's just really hot. And I know there are worse things to complain about, but thanks for listening to my TED talk about my broken AC. I'm gonna stop babbling and vlogging and I'll show you guys my nails when I'm done. On a positive note, look at this beautiful sunset. Ugh, stunning. It is many hours later, it is nine o'clock now, and the maintenance guy just left. And it <laughs> was definitely working when he left, and then now it just like shut off completely. It's not blowing out hot air, but I'm hoping it just like spontaneously kicks back on here in a minute. But either way, it's already cooler than it was. So I am happy about that. Happy that maintenance was able to come and I have no clue what was wrong with it. Um, he tried a bunch of different things and then it just started working. 
So I don't know, but I'm very tired. It's 9.15. I was going to have ice cream, but honestly, at this point, I think I just might go to bed. Because I'm a tired gal and I get up early these days. So nails are done. I just did this like cobalty, dark, I don't know what color you would call it, blue. And then I did white on my toenails. But yeah, tonight was kind of a wash because of the whole air conditioning debacle. But tomorrow's a new day. I am at work all day seeing patients, so I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Happy Monday and good night. Good morning and happy Tuesday morning. I just realized I haven't taken my pimple patch off yet. <laughs> All right, oh, it pulls so much gunk out, it's so gross. Um, Tuesday, hello, full day of work today. Just checked my schedule, doesn't look too bad. I'm still nursing this coffee. Probably gonna pour it in one of my to-go Starbucks cups, but let's pack lunch. You guys saw I made some breakfast, some coffee, I did a little yogurt parfait. I've been not really sure what to bring for lunches these days. So I found these, they were on sale at Publix. These like healthy choice steamers. So we're gonna bring this one today. And then I'm truly not even sure if it, I, I don't think it's even gonna fit in this lunchbox. So we may have to just bring a different bag. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Not the healthiest, but again, they were on sale. Some snacks. Honestly, I don't have any like fresh fruit or anything to bring. bring a cheese stick. I've been obsessed with these sharp cheddar cheese sticks from Walmart. And that should be fine. I have some extra snacks at my desk at work if I need them. So, let's get rolling. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I just did a little twist into a bun. Have this sweatshirt on, my blue scrubs. That's about it. So let's get in the car, start our drive. Rita's waiting for me to feed her. It's like so gloomy outside. I just want to get back into bed, but I need to get moving to work. We're working gal now. workout clothes we're gonna go to the gym oh I want to show you guys I got this I was tired of waiting for the lululemon belt bag to restock I called the store like every day for two weeks I checked online I was sick of it so I found this one on Amazon that is very similar for way cheaper I will link it down below I love it and it just came in the mail are you ready I don't know what's happening with my hair we're gonna do a quick workout because I'm hungry and it's already 6.30 and I need to make dinner and I'm tired. Yeah, I did get a vlog clip of us working out. So I just showered, disregard, there's a towel on my head. Um, we're gonna make this Hello Fresh, not sponsored, we Hello. bought it. Hello Fresh. Hello. Hello, governor. I'm so hungry. So excited. I thoroughly... This tomato. I know, it's so small. I thoroughly enjoy coming home and cooking these meals. Like, it's something I look forward to. So, I'm really excited to do this. I'm going to pop on some pretty little wires on my phone. Cook. Sean's going to so graciously take Lola for a walk when he's done with his protein shake. Governor. Governor. Hello. Lola. Um, do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Ugh. She's not even responding. Because she's afraid you're lying. 
Do you want to go on a walk? Do I go on a walk? Oh, okay, finally. Finally, you're like, okay, man. Let's go, man. Okay, okay. I'll do a little montage of me cooking now. Morning, happy Wednesday. I am at Dunkin' Donuts. We're at Dunkin' and I have a brand partnership to film with them, so I figured why not? I am actually driving to an elementary school today for work and we're doing screenings. Um, there's not a lot of dental offices out there where I'm driving, it's kind of a rural area, so I'm excited to do that today. A little break from clinic in the normal work setting. And I figured, why not? I have a bit of a drive. Why not grab my Dunkin', do a quick little reel content for it. Um, I got the pumpkin chai, dirty chai iced latte. So it's basically a shot of espresso, chai, pumpkin, all that good stuff. So yeah, happy Wednesday. I'm going to drive. I'm going to go pick up my coffee, get a couple clips on my phone, and then we're on the road. Hello everyone, it is, I actually have no idea what time it is, 3 o'clock. I'm just leaving the outreach program, it was super fun, T saw a ton of kids today. Just did dental screenings and some fluoride with some of them. I was so hungry and thirsty because I didn't really have a lunch break. Um, so I stopped at Burger King. Just got a large ice water, I just feel like dehydrated. And then I got a chicken sandwich, a cheeseburger, and I got these chicken nuggets, but they are, the chicken nuggets are borderline inedible. They've been definitely sitting out all day, so I'm just not going to eat the chicken nuggets, which is sad because I was looking forward to them, but they're just the, the, the soggy on the outside, hard on the inside, just not the vibe. So... I am driving home. I'm actually going to stop on my way home and look at a house that Sean and I just found on the market and just see on the outside what we think. We have like, I think like five at this point, five or six houses that we like that we might go see if one of his coworkers who has a second job as a realtor can take us through them and then maybe put in an offer. Um, which is exciting, but I don't want to get my hopes up until we know for sure. Obviously, I'll keep you guys updated. Our lease in our apartment now is up in December, so we're kind of trying to figure out what we want to do. But yeah, so I'm going to listen to Moms and Murder. I've been loving that podcast. And I thought that was a, a cough, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop babbling. I'm going to drink my water, go see that house, and then we're going to be home, and I think we're going to work out again. And make another dinner. Pretty much the same thing as last night. We started watching Batman last night, and I fell asleep. So, maybe we'll finish that tonight. I'm updating you from the gym, because I forgot to update you. To oh fly. my god. To flattering you. After my workout, what did you do? Put this to 15? Huh? Okay, I don't know if I can multitask. This is kind of heavy. <laughs> but as you can see, <laughs> we're at the gym. I went to look at that house, and it in fact wasn't a gated community, so I didn't get to look at the house. Are you zooming in on my face? Okay. Um, I'm a little stressed because I keep telling Gabby that we're going to podcast on days that I actually can't. So I just called her to talk about podcasting tomorrow morning because I'm off in the morning. Hold on. Okay. So anyways, now we're at the gym. We are going to finish our workout, go upstairs, make some food, probably finish Batman because I fell asleep. Does this have liquid IV or is it just water? Liquid IV. Liquid IV, I'll put my coat on the screen right here. Send us more, I've been drinking them all. They don't watch my videos, but. Liquid IV, hi. <laughs> also, Josh Allen. Nice to, nice to see you from there. <laughs> Definitely doesn't watch my videos. 
<laughs> Anyways, the pool looks so nice. We should we need to have a pool day. Focus. Soon. Saturday pool day. Okay, so I need a plan. I want to try Cycle Bar in Fort Myers and Naples and like see how I like them. Okay, you're going too light. Ugh. Um, so I'm gonna plan out my week. Basically, this blabbery clip was just to tell you that tomorrow is gonna be a planning day for me because I feel like I have a million things going on in my head. Slash tonight, I might tell Sean to make dinner tonight instead of myself. Yeah, I'm right. We'll see. But we're going to finish our workout. These baby hairs are driving me absolutely insane that they will not stay up no matter how low my bun is. But work today was good. Do you have anything to share from your day? No. Okay. I did it at 12, 3.30 before I came down here. On the treadmill, if you don't know what that is. Incline of 12, speed of 3 for 30 minutes. I do it on a incline of 8 for a speed of 3.5. A little bit easier on my knees. Okay. I did that for 40 minutes. What flavor is this? Pina colada, I think. Mm. It's really good. Um, okay, I'm going to finish my Got workout. a good sweat on. Say goodbye. Look how nice the pool looks, guys. Our pool got new lounge chairs. You can't really see them. You can kind of see them right there. All right, we just walked Lola and got the mail. And we have a very exciting package from Tri Treats. Um, they sent us, so basically what this is, is it's an international snack box and it comes with a list of all the treats inside and then you can rank them like best to worst and weirdest. And we're not going to try them right now because we haven't had dinner yet. Oh, but I'm, I'm, very excited. I'm trying some. I have a coupon code for you guys. It is Lexi Fuller to get 15% off your first box. I'll leave all the link info down below. This isn't sponsored, but they were super kind and sent it to us. So this is kind of cool. Cause like. I, I want to travel so bad, but like we can't right now. So yeah, this is cool. But this is like a like our little own way of traveling. In yeah. Way. So this is I think they're all from Poland. Yeah. It I'm says what's correctly. inside your treats box, Poland. So we've got Citruski. C, C, uh, C U K I E R K I. <laughs> I don't know by Astra. Citrus uh, caramel candies are uniquely colored and in. And intricately designed citrus caramel candies. I would have never expected these were caramels. Interesting. Neat. Um, when we get to the AHA one, this is the actual one. It was misprinted on the thing. So next, which is I think yep. this one. It is a sesame snack with honey. Interesting. So it looks like that. These are so like, and all the packaging is really cool. Then we have this Paluski. They look like pretzels. And pretzel sticks. Iced gingerbread. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good. Okay, then we have, you're supposed to be reading what everything is. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. What are these? The pretzels? The Poluski. Uh, salt sticks is known for making a traditional recipe and the traditional baking process has produced something something. Also oh, low results. calorie content. Yeah. Cool. Locale snack. Then we've got Delfina P. Right here. Uh, are elegant and individually wrapped chocolates decorated with white chocolates. Creamy and silky with rich chocolate taste. Oh, I kinda wanna try one of these fudge Milky things. creamy fudge, one of these? Yeah, I wanna try those. Poland Milowek. I don't see that on here. Are you sure? Yeah. Right here, milk cream fudge. Oh. They're just different colors. Cow candy in Polish is what it stands for. Polish fudge candies are different from American fudge. They are soft and crumbly in texture and they'll melt in your mouth. I just want to try a bite of that. So when you open that, I don't want to eat a whole one yet. I can't focus it on there, but whatever. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I dropped a fudge. It looks like a caramel, but it's Milky creamy fudge. How is it? Rita. <laughs> Rita. It tastes like a caramel. Oh, it's really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Then we've got a hazelnut cream candy bar. Yummy. I love me some hazelnut. Prince Polo Classic. They're like wafer chocolates. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I got some bigger items that I need to take out. These look exciting. Tigurskis? 
Sigursky's. Guys, if you're from Poland, can you please help me pronounce this? I'm butchering everything. So these are strawberry flavored corn puffs that have no gluten or any added sugar. Ooh. Influencers top 2021. That's pretty cool. Then we try have, in a minute, family's wafers. These look good. They are Does crispy they and good. thick wafers with vanilla flavored cream. Okay. And then last but not least, we have iced gingerbread, good. which I, if you guys know me, gingerbread is my favorite cookie. Um, They're like hearts, the one on the top. Gingerbread cookies made from traditional and secret recipe from Kopernik Circa, a company that has been one of the leading Polish gingerbread producers since 1763. Oh, dude. This we is so cool. Ones. Okay. I'm excited. This is really neat. I feel like we might have to order the Italy box and see if... Remember we went grocery shopping there? We already did it in Italy. We so you want to do a different country? Yeah, yeah. We'll do a different country. Okay. Well, this is really fun. And I really like this idea. I wonder if there's an American box and what's in it for other, like if they send it to other countries and what's in it. Probably, probably like, <laughs> all these are like, have a I'm healthy like, twist. Like, and the American box is probably just like Cheetos. <laughs> try a little, let's try one of these healthy pretzels. And then I need to make dinner, don't spoil your dinner. But again, discount code Lexi Fuller to get 15% off. I'll leave the info down below. But thank you, Try Treats. This is so fun. Come here. How was it? Yep. It's not as salty as a pretzel stick. Which I like. Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this is fun. Maybe this weekend we'll film a video where we try them all and rate them. Yeah. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Dinner is done. Now it's time to watch Batman. Good morning, happy Thursday. I've got my latte that I just made, my yogurt, granola, and dark chocolate chips. I was just filming a like morning in my life reel. So I just picked up the camera. I've been up for a little bit, drinking some water. And I just did the first page of this journal. I wanna get back into journaling. I'll leave this one linked down below. It's called the Best Year Journal, but it's really cute and aesthetic, but it also has really good prompts. So part one says reflection and gratitude. So I was doing that. I also got the company that sent me the journal is Intelligent Change, and they sent me these cards too, which are pretty neat. It's called Let's Get Closer, Questions That Strengthen Bonds and Build Relationships. I just thought it was cool. They're like random questions and they have three levels of like superficial to deepest. Just if Sean and I are bored and want to spark some convo or really anyone over. Um, so I am going to sit here, eat my um, yogurt, <laughs> drink my coffee. I have the morning off. I don't go into work until 2.20, which is amazing. My plan is to get my computer out and catch up on work emails. Um, I have a lot of emails that I have to go through, answer brands, as well as dental emails to go through. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I have like a whole list of things in my phone that I have to do. We're going to podcast at 10.30 this morning once Gabby finally wakes up. I woke up at 7 this morning. Um which to me lately has been sleeping in, which is crazy. But we're gonna podcast and then I'm gonna go to Cycle Bar in Fort Myers. I'm gonna try a workout class at noon. And then I think I'm gonna, we have a shower at work that never gets used that's like brand new, which is really cool. So I'll either shower there or I'll shower at Cycle Bar. I'm pretty sure they have showers. Um, and shower for work. Hopefully I can get a shower at Cycle Bar, but I'm a little sore from our workout yesterday, so hopefully it's not too unbearable, but I wanted to try that. And then there's a couple gyms in Naples that I want to try. So we'll just experiment with workouts. Um, I was going to go to the beach today, and I was really looking forward to just reading on the beach on my day off. Well, not my full day off, but like my morning and early afternoon off. But I wasn't sure about the weather, and I have so much to get done, and I just kind of want to chill. So 
Maybe this weekend we'll do a beach day. If I can convince Sean on Saturday, maybe we'll do a beach day. But I am going to go plop on the couch, eat, drink my coffee, throw on either you two or Pretty Little Liars and get some work done. Happy Thursday. And Sean works today, so I don't know what we're gonna get up to tonight. I don't even think I have anything to make for dinner. So maybe we'll stop at the store on the way home and get something because I like to save the HelloFresh meals for when we're both home. And we do have another one this week, but probably save that. Change of plans. So one of my co-residents just texted me that we have to be there at one today. So I had to call and cancel my workout class, which I'm sad, but I am really sore. So I rescheduled it for Sunday. So we're gonna try cycle bar on Sunday instead. Um, so, so podcasting at 1030, but I have to be there at one. I'm actually going to check my schedule right now and see if they put any patients in, but basically the only thing that's changed is I'm not going to my workout class. So after I get some computer work done, I'm going to take Lola for a WALK, we'll podcast, and then... I do have to finish shooting a little bit of content, so maybe I'll just do that and then I'll start my drive and go to work. And then we'll still see what we are gonna get up to this evening, because I don't know. But just wanted to update you guys on that little change in my schedule. I was excited to have a very extended day, but it's a good thing I'm not going to the beach because I would not have enough time now, so. Things happen for a reason, I suppose. Also, I'm like torn. I know I'm gonna end up just freaking buying a pair but I really want these like Birkenstock clogs but I refuse to pay $150 because I don't know how much I'm gonna wear them yet so let me flip you around boohoo has a pair for literally $18 I was gonna get the pair at JCPenney and I like really really liked them but now they went up to $35 and even with shipping these are cheaper but again I don't know how the quality is and they're not the exact color I wanted, but I do feel like maybe these ones are the way to go because they're more affordable and I'll see how much I wear them and if I like them, but I think for fall these would be, I don't know, I really like them. So I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and get these. And then there's some items on Amazon that I want to look at. Should I be shopping? Probably not. Honestly, I don't need anything, but I've been eyeing these for a while, so I think I'm gonna get them. <laughs> Okay, vlog, you can't hear Gabby because I have headphones in, but we're about to record the podcast, reading your ex stories. I wrote him a letter with Nicole. When I I am home from work. I stopped at Walmart on the way home to pick up a couple things. And now I'm going to make some food. So I figured I'd show you what I got. I know these are not the best for me, but they are quick, easy, health, not healthy, quick and easy, especially when Sean's at work. So I just grab these pesticides. And then you guys know I'm obsessed with the suddenly salad, so I got one of those. And tonight for dinner, I thought I would make the Gigi Hadid vodka pasta, so I got some bow tie noodles. The Walmart dollar bread is so good when it's fresh, and it is very fresh today. So I got that. Um, whipping cream, garlic, and tomato paste for the pasta tonight. Take this out. Some more of these. These have been like my favorite things ever. The sharp cheddar like cheese snackers. Um, and then last but not least, purple shampoo. I just got this one because it, they had it at Walmart. Um, I'll let you guys know if I like it, but since putting a little bit of lightness into my hair, um, the hairstylist recommended a purple shampoo. So, we're gonna give this one a go. I am going to start cooking, put on Pretty Little Liars, and chill. And then I have to make a bunch of reels for brands. Um, and yeah, just basically have to make a bunch of meals tonight while I relax, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna start cooking. It's much later now. My hair will not stay up, but I think I'm gonna shower, wash my hair, and go to bed. It's like 10 p.m. I'm getting sleepy. The girls are back there hanging out, but it is time for bed. 
Tomorrow's already Friday. Rock on. Good morning, happy Friday. My hair is a mess. It's still like damp from my shower last night. <laughs> but it's Friday. And Friday means ortho at work. So we have ortho lecture today. And then usually we have ortho clinic, but I think today they have a meeting or lecture the whole morning. And then I'm done at noon. Um, it's like 6.40 right now. I'm gonna go get Duncan. There's like no excuse. I just want it to power me through my drive and the lecture. So I might try the pumpkin nutty coffee or whatever. It's basically just pumpkin hazelnut coffee. That sounds delish. I know it's early for pumpkin. It's only August, but I love it and I could drink it all year round. So I'm gonna go do that. Happy Friday. I'm a tired gal. I snoozed my alarm like five times this morning, but that's okay. We're gonna make it through. TTYL. In three or four days, the T- Hey, back home from the day. Oh, do you want to show the vlog? Rita knows some tricks. I don't know if she'll do it because she already got a bunch of treats, but- Come here. Come. Come. She's, she's like, like, you're, she's like, you okay. told me to sit. Yeah, just make her sit. It's okay. All right, come here. Rita, sit. No. <laughs> Sit. No. Okay. Lola just got groomed, huh? She just did it. Lola just got groomed. She's got a nice bandana. And, oh, you on your hind legs. Ready? Read it. Catch. <laughs> she just tries it. I love how she tries to, like, basket catch it. Yeah. All right, we are all changed. I am out for the day, and we are going to lunch downtown. I'm really liking this outfit. It's cute. Sean got a haircut. Haircut. Car cleaned. Yeah. Oil change. So we're going to lunch. Dog groomed. I will try and link Productive these items morning. if I can find them. Because I don't know where they're from right now. But Go Bills, baby. Shoes are Dolce Vita. And I'm running late, as usual. 